Over this past year, DAV has continued to make good on its promise to be the champion for all veterans forever changed by their service. At every level, DAV has fought for our veterans and families. National Commander Nancy Espinosa, a service-connected disabled veteran of the Army, Reserve, and National Guard, set this tone right from the moment she was elected during the August 2023 National Convention in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Through volunteerism, legislative advocacy, and benefits assistance, you have helped lift your fellow underdogs to new heights. We must continue that work with the grit and determination that inspired our military service. In addition to Commander Espinosa taking the reins of DAV, the convention brought thousands of DAV members together to elect new leaders, vote on essential resolutions affecting veterans nationwide, and strengthen the bonds of our veteran community. Among many convention highlights, DAV recognized our 2023 Disabled American Veteran of the Year, Kim Hubers. Kim was deployed to the Middle East as a heavy vehicle operator in the South Dakota National Guard. The demanding combat environment wreaked havoc on her health, causing migraines, fractures in her mid-spine, and a then undiagnosed traumatic brain injury. Since her medical discharge in 2015, Kim has found new purpose serving her fellow veterans through DAV. She volunteers to help veterans with their claims and serves as the commander of the Department of South Dakota and on DAV's Interim Women Veterans Advisory Committee. Leaving the military against my will. When I wasn't ready, I was a lifer, I was a leader, I was good at it. It was something that was meant for me. So having to be ripped away from that was like losing your entire family overnight. And I never knew what to do knew what to do to fill that hole in my heart. And I found a way to fill that with the AV. And I had my family back. Kim, along with Commander Espinosa and other women veterans, were part of DAV's new report, Women Veterans, The Journey to Mental Wellness. Released in February, this third landmark report is one of the most comprehensive assessments of the unique factors contributing to the staggering rate of suicide among women veterans. It detailed how the system charged with their mental health care can and must do better. Comprehensive research coupled with intimate stories from DAV members revealed numerous gaps in care for women veterans related to screenings, interventions, access barriers, gender-specific care services, and awareness. You're supposed to continue on. You're supposed to tough it out. Um, so that was hard for me. And then I went on not knowing that I was broken for years. In this report, DAV issued over 50 policy and legislative recommendations to spark necessary and urgent change that can save lives. The report and the personal stories of women veterans can be found at womenveterans.org. DAV remained a constant presence on Capitol Hill in 2023, with 66 of its resolutions included in federal legislation. Seven of DAV's resolutions were enacted into law, including a veteran's compensation, cost of living increase, and a law authorizing the VA to begin construction activities on seven major medical facilities. The DAV Commander's Action Network was a major part of this success, with more than 670,000 emails sent to elected officials by DAV and auxiliary members and supporters. This is an impressive 45% increase over the previous year. DAV Commander's Action Network shows their strength in numbers and that our members and supporters deeply care about doing their part and having their voice heard by lawmakers. Despite an unprecedented schedule change for our annual Midwinter Conference in Washington, D.C., DAV members came out in force to bring our veteran advocacy message to lawmakers. Through personal conversations and meetings with members of Congress, our members made sure our critical policy goals were heard and understood. During the event, Commander Espinosa provided expert testimony before a joint session of the House and Senate Veterans Affairs Committees, laying out DAV's legislative priorities for the 118th Congress. She emphasized the need for expanded services for women veterans, 
thanked lawmakers for passing the PACT Act in 2022 and pressed them to extend VA health care and benefits to all toxic exposed veterans, including those who served at K2 in Uzbekistan. Commander Espinoza also urged Congress to immediately pass legislation that corrects inequities for ill and injured veterans receiving compensation benefits and provide parity in benefits for their survivors. Our veterans need a VA that keeps up with the times, and we need you to join with us so that together we can create a better VA that our veterans deserve today and into the future. In 2023, DAV benefit advocates counseled over 300,000 claimants and filed more than 200,000 new claims. More than 1.1 million veterans entrusted DAV with their powers of attorney, representing $28.4 billion in earned benefits. DAV's benefit advocates also assisted more than 45,000 transitioning service members. And more than 17,000 attendees came to one of our 414 information seminars last year to learn about their VA benefits and the services DAV offers. These impressive numbers reflect the hard work our benefits advocates do day in and day out and shows that we remain the country's premier veteran service organization advocating on behalf of veterans. DAV has continued to be there for veterans in their time of need immediately following disasters like fires, tornadoes, and floods. In 2023, DAV issued nearly 750 comfort and hygiene supply kits and distributed more than $726,000 in emergency funds, assisting 1,038 veterans around the country. In the past decade, DAV has dispersed more than $8.8 million in relief to veterans in need. In October 2023, DAV launched its latest initiative, DAV Caregivers Support. This no-cost program provides concierge support and resources to the friends, family members, and loved ones who are caregivers for veterans. This program is also available to veterans who are themselves caregivers to non-veterans. Since its launch, DAV Caregivers Support has helped more than 760 caregivers connect to resources they need to help them improve relationships and reduce stress, depression, and other adverse health outcomes. Finding a meaningful, fulfilling career is an essential step in the transition to civilian life for the vast majority of veterans and their spouses. That's why DAV continues to partner with Recruit Military to host in-person and virtual job fairs. This past year, we surpassed 100 events with more than 31,000 attendees, resulting in over 12,500 job offers. DAV Patriot Boot Camp has continued to be a must-attend event for veterinarians seeking to grow their skills and confidence in running their businesses. Through one-on-one -on -one mentorship and in-depth training from industry leaders, last year nearly 100 participants over three cohorts and one accelerator program received valuable information, connections, and resources to take their businesses and ideas to the next level. You know, being around other people with the same background and experiences was really helpful uh, because they know some of the challenges that you go through and they, they can share in their experience as well. DAV has continued our efforts to strengthen and support our family of members. In addition to our member recruiting drives, challenges, giveaways, and incentives, the membership department improved resources to make finding and sharing information easier. MyDAV.org, the online membership portal, now allows chapter and department leaders to file online reports, eliminating the need for processing paper forms. And the member resources section of DAV.org was regularly updated to provide access to the latest information about DAV programs and services. Also, we launched two major initiatives to help members with recruiting. The first is the DAV Recruitment Resource, a short digital document packed with everything you need to share DAV's mission and the importance of becoming a member, including answers to frequently asked questions about our services and links to explainer videos. 
The second initiative is the Membership Recruiter Rally. How does an all-expenses-paid trip to the 2025 DAV and Auxiliary National Convention sound? We're going to Las Vegas next year, and any DAV or Auxiliary member who recruits at least one member will be entered into a drawing for the free trip for two, plus $2,500 spending money. It's happening now and runs until June 30th, 2025. In April, we launched the first ever DAV Community Impact Day. Through this initiative, more than 700 people pledged at least an hour of their time to volunteer for veterans. Photos and stories from around the country poured in showing what people did to make a difference in the lives of veterans and their communities. This event demonstrated a deepening connection among our fellow citizens and veterans, and it promises to be a rapidly growing annual event going forward. DAV Transportation Network volunteers were on the road providing nearly 250,000 rides to and from VA medical appointments to ensure veterans have access to the care they earned. Across the nation, DAV volunteers logged more than 575,000 hours of drive time across nearly 9.3 million miles. That's the equivalent of driving to the moon and back more than 19 times. To support our drivers and those who need our rides, DAV's departments and chapters, with assistance from the DAV Charitable Service Trust and Columbia Trust, purchased 98 vehicles. Our longest enduring corporate partner, Ford Motor Company, donated eight vehicles to the VA in 2023. That's a total value of $4.4 million. Through DAV scholarships, we're proud to invest in the futures of our outstanding student volunteers while connecting tomorrow's leaders with those who served. We awarded a total of $110,000 in scholarships to 10 deserving students. Jacob Weber from Canton, Michigan, received the 2023 top award of $30,000. This year marked the 30th National Disabled Veterans Golf Clinic. The event, which we co-present every year with the VA, brought more than 200 disabled veteran participants to Riverside, Iowa, to play golf and experience other adaptive activities. Marine and Iowa Army National Guard veteran Robert Hunter received the clinic's DAV Freedom Award as the person who best demonstrated the spirit of the week. While deployed to Iraq with his National Guard unit in 2005, Robert suffered a severe traumatic brain injury after an improvised explosive device detonated near his Humvee. He's had to relearn many basic tasks, but hasn't let that stop him from being an enthusiastic and encouraging presence on the course. We also co-presented the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic with the VA in Snowmass near Aspen, Colorado. For this 38th year, nearly 400 participants experienced miracles on a mountainside as they took part in sports, including adaptive skiing, sled hockey, curling, and fly fishing. Army veteran Eric Castillo received the event's DAV Freedom Award. He sustained a traumatic brain injury and left side paralysis in 2004 after an explosion near him sent shrapnel through the right side of his head. After 22 surgeries and against all odds, He's not only an active adaptive sports participant, but a VA employee and an ambassador to others sharing the benefit of recreational therapy and adaptive sports. Last year was a banner year for the Charitable Service Trust's support of organizations and initiatives that benefit ill and injured veterans and their families. The trust awarded $21.5 million to deserving nonprofits, the most it's ever distributed in one year to our partners who are providing solutions to unmet needs. As a testament to its fiscal management, transparency, and accountability, the trust continually receives the four-star Charity Navigator rating. It's also listed as one of Charity Navigator's most followed charities. This acknowledgement from the country's largest independent charity evaluator speaks volumes about the trust's stewardship, as more than 95 cents of every dollar donated to the trust went to programs that directly support veterans. Whether on TV, billboards, or through in-person events, introducing DAV's name, mission, and programs is a public service for veterans who served, their families, and survivors. In November, we hosted the 11th annual DAV 5K, 
which brought over 4,000 people together, both virtually and in Cincinnati, to raise awareness and money for DAV's programs and services. Participants ran, walked, rolled, and rode their way to raising more than $375,000, surpassing the event's fundraising goal. This year, we had people from 55 states and territories, as well as several international locations, participate. And thanks to our partner, USAA, DAV's 2022 Disabled American Veteran of the Year, Army veteran Adam Alexander, attended Super Bowl 58 as part of the NFL's Salute to Service initiative. Adam, an active DAV volunteer and advocate for other veterans, used the opportunity to encourage others to volunteer for veterans through DAV. We also continued our partnership with Golden Corral through the restaurant's Military Appreciation Night. Each year around Veterans Day, they open their buffet lines to give veterans free meals as a show of appreciation for their service. In 2023, the restaurant served over 189,000 free meals. The annual event raised over $1 million for DAV departments and chapters, bringing the total to nearly $19.5 million and over 6 million free meals served since the partnership began in 2001. In 2023, Camp Corral, a -a one-of-a-kind summer camp for children of wounded, disabled, or fallen service members and veterans, hosted 20 summer camps for over 2,200 children ages 8 to 15. To date, Camp Corral has served over 33,000 children with a military connection, the majority of whom have a parent who was wounded, made ill, or killed in service. Through DAV's Just Be Kids Scholarship Program, nearly 7,000 children of wounded, disabled, or fallen veterans have attended the camp at no cost. DAV has donated more than $6.6 million to Camp Corral since 2014. We saw incredible growth with our Field of Flags campaign. We partnered with 127 schools and organizations to set up Fields of American Flags to honor local veterans while raising $172,000 to support ill and injured heroes. DAV's Victories for Veterans public service announcements continued to be a strong performing campaign for us, generating 11.8 billion impressions with a donated media value of nearly $106 million. Our DAV Auxiliary started its year off by electing Anne Marie Hurley as the National Commander. The organization had another big year, welcoming 11 new units into the Auxiliary family. Its members and junior members were very active volunteering for veterans in their communities and at VA facilities, serving a total in excess of 188,000 hours in 2023. In its second year, the DAV Auxiliary for Kids grant program assisted 24 children of ill or injured veterans with financial need to attend camps or participate in extracurricular activities such as sports or school trips. Additionally, our auxiliary awarded a total of $40,000 in scholarships to 17 deserving students. When you look back at this past year, know this. All these successes are your successes. We're an organization of veterans serving veterans. And the role each of you has played in getting us to where we are today cannot be understated. Thank you for all you do to keep the promise. It continues to be a true honor to serve with you to empower our nation's veterans to lead high-quality lives with respect and dignity.